Hi friend, my name is Sophie and this is Dexter and welcome to your practice. We are moving through a beginner, beginner level side body focused flow. So in this vinyasa class, we'll focus on opening up and strengthening the side body. So we're going to start by laying down on our backs. You don't need anything, any equipment, but if you have two blocks, it's very helpful to have those nearby. So lay down onto your back, take your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees knock together. Rest your hands on your belly. Don't interlace the fingers though, just let them rest. The hands just gently rest on top of one another. And take this moment to Breathe into the stillness of your body, of your mind. Perhaps it doesn't feel very still yet, but that's okay. The more we breathe, the more centered we become. So take a deep inhale. And out of your mouth, exhale. In through the nose again out of your mouth. One more like that in. Let it all go. And gently bring your knees up into your chest. And I like to hold on to two fingers. I find that to be the most easy way to do it, but you can do it how you want. And rock side to side here. Feeling a little massage on the lower back. The reason that we're focusing on the side body today is because it's often neglected in other forms of movement. And also because when we lengthen through the side body, we lessen the strain and the tightness around the rib cage so we can breathe better when the side body's open and we just feel in general more open so keep the right knee in your chest and take your left leg long so the heel is on the ground. Good. And then take your right knee a little bit over to the right, just a little bit. And just notice how this small movement makes a big difference. Now bring your leg back to center. Extend your leg straight up to the sky. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh and flex and point your foot. So flexing is when the toes draw back towards your shin, and when, when we say point, um, it's when the toes reach up. Flex and point. Technically both are flexing, dorsiflexing and plantar flexing, but for the purpose of yoga, we do flex and point. Good, now bring your knee back into your chest and switch sides. Bring the left knee into your chest. Take your right leg long, and take your knee to the left a little bit and just feel that openness through the pelvis. Bring your knee back to center, extend your left leg straight up, interlace your hands behind your left thigh and flex and point your foot. So we're just starting out here with some gentle stretching and opening. Not only because it's easier on the body this way, but because it eases our minds into the practice so that we can get more grounded before we continue to move through the practice. Good, now bring your knee back into your chest and extend both legs to the ground. Take both legs over to the right side and cross your left ankle on top of your right ankle with both legs still straight. Take your arms all the way overhead, grab onto your left wrist and take a side bend to the right. So you're creating a curve in the left side of the body, creating an arch in the right side. Breathe into the left side body. Imagine that you are truly breathing into the left rib cage, the left armpit, left hip. Now come back to center and take your legs to the left side. Right foot, right ankle crosses over left ankle. Grab onto your right wrist and take a side bend to the left. So it's almost Dexter's dinner time, which is why he's all up in my space right now. It's funny that the time of day really matters when I create these videos. 
but I know that hopefully you're enjoying the sight of decks. All right, come back to center, bring your knees into your chest, and we're gonna come right up into tabletop. So just kind of rock yourself up and flip around, and tabletop is when you're on your hands and knees here. Good. From tabletop, we'll take a couple rounds of cat cows. So as you inhale, you tilt your pelvis forward, drop the belly, and open your chest. And exhale, round and curl the spine like you're tucking your tailbone. And again, inhale, we open up and arch. Exhale, round. Now, your neck is part of your spine, so make sure your neck is doing the work too. Especially when you're rounding, you bring your chin into your chest and that feels really good on the back of the neck. Let's do one more time, inhale. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Child's pose, knees wide, feet together, and walk your hands out in front of you and set your head down on the ground. And take a deep breath in here, and breath out. And then come back up into tabletop. Let's go all together, we're gonna to come into downward facing dogs. You tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. I always like to measure down dog by coming briefly into a plank. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists in your plank pose, and then go back into down dog. That's kind of the length you want for your legs. You'll probably have to bend your knees, and I recommend definitely bending your knees here, and reaching your tail to the sky. Try to let your head drop between your arms. Then, Slowly walk your feet all the way up to your hands. So take little steps. Good. And then once you get there, take a half lift. So that means your back is flat, your spine is long. And you could put your hands onto your shins here. So again, you're trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together on your back. And stick your tailbone back behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Let's do that again. Inhale, lengthen, hands on your shins, flat back. Like you're trying to pull your shoulder, shoulders back and up. Like I could come eat my dinner off of your back and it wouldn't fall over. And then refold. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then on inhale, stand and reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart arms down by your sides. So you want your feet to be hip distance apart. You can locate your hip bone, the hip bones by feeling on the bony structure, the points on the front of your hips. Heels uh, right underneath of that. Arms down by your sides, you're standing tall. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. On exhale, let's side bend to the right. So bring the right arm over, er, down, and take the left arm up and over. So you're side bending to the right. The right arm is glued to you. And there's a sense of lifting even as you're bending to the side. On inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, side bend to the left. The breath is nice and easy. On inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Arms down by your sides. Now interlace your hands behind your back and open up your chest. And maybe the feet go a little bit wide. In fact, take the feet a little bit wider. I definitely recommend that for this. And then we'll fold forward, take your arms up and over. If it's too much, you can stay upright. You can also put a strap between your hands. Make sure you're not locking out your knees. Inhale. And exhale, release your hands down to the ground. Bring your feet back to hip distance. So now that you're on the ground, you can measure with two fists. And then bring your hands right in front of your toes. Lift up halfway, maybe hands on shins if you want. And then on your exhale, step back into a plank pose. Inhale here. And exhale, set your knees down on the ground. So you're just letting them set down right where they land so you're in a modified plank. Shift your weight a little bit forward and keep the elbows in tight by your ribs. 
we lower down slowly to the ground. So you're passing through modified chaturanga. Untuck your toes when you get to the ground. And lift your chest and lift your hands also. Lift your hands just an, uh, half an inch off the ground. Keep the toes down. Keep the gaze right in front of your mat. So you can feel your back muscles working. And then plant your hands down. Use the strength of your arms to lift you a little higher. You're never locking the elbows out. There's always a slight bend of the elbows. We take an inhale here. And exhale, lower down to the ground. Tuck your toes and press up into tabletop. Good. Downward facing dog, hips go up and back. Take a breath in and breath out. All right, walk your feet again up to the front of the mat and take an inhale and lengthen your spine. And then step your left foot back behind you into a low lunge. So you want your right knee right over your right ankle, low lunge. You don't wanna to be too close. You don't wanna be super far away. Your right knee right is right over the right ankle. Then from there, press into the feet and rise up into high lunge. So reach your arms up to the sky. Now take your right arm back behind you as you twist open to the right. Good, now reach both arms forward and up, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the ground. Set your back knee down on the ground and straighten your right leg for a half split. So you'll slide your right foot forward a bit and then flex the foot. A lot of times I see people uh, when they're first starting out really far back here. We don't wanna be there. We want our back hip to be over the back knee or both hips to be over the back knee. And lift and lengthen the spine. Keep lifting and lengthening. As you do that, you'll feel your right hip drawing back a bit and more sensation, more stretch in the back of the right leg. Good, let's re-bend the knee, come back into a lunge. Lift your back knee off the ground, plant your left hand, and reach your right arm up. So you're twisting to the right. Take an inhale and exhale, put both hands down to the ground and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift with a flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back behind you. Pause here for a moment, making sure that your left knee is on top of the left ankle and your right leg is far back enough that the leg can be straight. Then press into the feet and reach the arms up. Keep the breath steady and the mind soft. Take your left arm back and right arm forward. So you're twisting to your left. Body is strong. Reach both arms forward and up. Inhale. Exhale. Set your hands down onto the ground. Set your back knee down. Slide your left foot a little bit forward and flex your left foot. Come up onto your fingertips. Now, if you have blocks, um, they, can, they would come in handy here. You could put them under your hands. Otherwise, we're staying here and we're trying to lengthen the spine and pin the left hip back in space. Keep the left foot flex. Take one more breath. Good, we bend the knee, come into lunge. Lift your back knee, plant your right hand down, and reach your left arm up. Inhale, exhale, put both hands down. Step to the front of the mat again. Step your right foot behind your left foot so that your feet are crossed. And we fold in this crossed forward fold, this braided fold. So it's okay if the toes aren't lined up all the way. This might feel really challenging at first. You're feeling it in the outer right leg all the way up into the outer right hip. So we're working on that side body. Good. 
Good, and then uncross your legs. And we'll do the other side, so left foot crosses behind, right? And you're folding over the legs. Take one more breath. And then uncross your legs, good. Stand all the way up, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms on by your sides. For a moment here, close your eyes and observe how your body feels now. Is there a sensation of lightness in the lower body? Perhaps a sensation of strength. We just strengthened and lengthened in many ways. Now go ahead and blink your eyes open and reach your arms up. Inhale, exhale, let's fold. Hands to the ground. Again, halfway lift and lengthen the spine. And step your left foot back behind you into a low lunge. Set your back knee on the ground. If it hurts to have the knee down, if you're on a hard surface, feel free to put a blanket or a towel underneath your knee. Um, and then reach your arms up. Interlace your hands. Flip your palms up. Inhale. And exhale, take a side bend to the right. And on inhale, reach your arms back up. And exhale, release your hands back down to the ground. Bring your hands inside of your right foot and scoot the right foot over to the right for a lizard lunge. Slide your back leg as far back as you can get it. Your right knee opens out to the right. Either stay here or if you want more, maybe put your forearms down onto the ground. Press down into the top of your back foot. Rise back up onto the hands and then straighten your right leg. Plant your hands down on the ground and swing, maybe just plant your fingertips down. Swing your right leg out to the right and set the, toe, the whole bottom of the foot on the ground. Then come all the way upright with your right leg out to the right. Plant your left hand on the ground, right parallel to your left knee. Take your right arm up and reach your right arm over your ear toward the left, toward, yeah, toward the left side of the mat, over your ear. Good, then we'll press back up all the way. Place your right hand onto your right thigh. Take your left arm up and over to the right. When you're taking a side bend, it's important that you draw your low rib, lit, your low ribs inwards, words, man. Um, and, that way you're not arching your back. You don't want to arch your lower back here. You want to have control of your core. Then rise back up and place both hands down onto the ground and walk them forward a little bit. Swing your right leg back behind you. So you're in a one leg tabletop here. Draw again, drawing the low ribs in and extending your right leg as straight back as you can. Take another breath. Then option to extend your left arm forward. And you're trying to get a nice straight line with your body, so imagine someone's pulling on your toes and pulling on your fingers. Inhale and exhale, tabletop position. Good, let's lower all the way down to the ground. Come onto your belly. Take your arms uh, straight out in front of you. And then lift your head, lift your legs, and lift your arms. And hold here for five, four, three, two, on one. Keep your legs lifted and place your hands under your elbows, palms flat on the ground. And then on inhale, lift up for cobra pose. You can set your feet down now. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Good, let's walk the feet all the way up to the front of the mat again. And inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, root your feet down, stand all the way up to the, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, go back down to the ground and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your right foot back behind you. Set your knee down on the ground and reach your arms up. This pose is Anjaneyasana. Interlace your hands and flip your palms up. Try to squeeze the hips together so you're not sinking too far forward. And take a side bend to the left, reaching up and over to the left. Press your palms to the sky. On inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, release your hands down to the ground. We'll come into a lizard lunge, so slide your left foot over to the left. Untuck your back toes and slide your right leg as far back as you can. Then put your forearms down onto the ground and breathe. Experience your body in this position. Stay here mentally. Good, rise back up onto your hands. Now come all the way up onto your fingertips as you straighten out your left leg. Good. From here, we'll swing the left leg over to the left side and set the foot down on the ground. And then come all the way up so you're standing on your knee. Take your arms out wide and then set your right hand down onto the ground and take your left arm up and over your ear. From there, rise all the way back up. Set your left hand onto your left thigh. Take your right arm up and over to the left. Again, drawing your left low, lower ribs in toward the body. And rise all the way back up. Set both hands flat onto the ground. Walk them forward a little bit so you're in a tabletop position. And swing your left leg around back behind you. Reach your right, or stay right here for one more breath. Keep it even. <laughs> now reach your right arm forward. Sometimes I get a little excited. Okay, extend everything apart. So you wanna avoid dumping into your low back, dumping into your shoulder. You wanna have a nice strong position here. Pressing away from the earth. Inhale and exhale, come into tabletop. Good, let's lower all the way down to the ground. So come onto your belly, keeping the elbows in tight by your ribs. This time, take your forehead to the ground. Take your arms down by your sides. And then lift your arms and head and legs up. Option to interlace your hands behind your back for locust pose. Make sure you're looking at the front of your mat so that you're not looking too far up. You wanna keep your neck long for three. Two, on one, set your hands down underneath your shoulders, plant them, put your feet down on the ground, and again, lift up for cobra. Inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Breath in, and breath out. Shift forward into plank. Nice strong plank. We'll take a side plank. So. Roll over to the left side and face the right side of your mat. So you can see here my feet are staggered, but if you can stack your feet like I'm doing now, you can try to do that. We're just gonna hold here for three, two, and one. Come back into plank. Good. Side plank facing the left. Rolling over onto the right side, facing the left side. Stagger or stack your feet. For three, two, one, we come back into plank. Inhale and exhale, down dog. Good, now set your knees down on the ground. We're gonna come into a seat. So take your legs out in front of you. And we'll take the legs wide now. So I'm gonna to turn to face you, but you can face whichever way you want. You take your legs wide, and then take your left foot and bring it inside of your right thigh. 
Then we'll take a little tiny twist to the left. Just face your chest to the left. And take your right forearm. Keeping that rotation to the left, put your right forearm uh, right inside of your right leg, palm facing up. Take your left arm up and reach your left arm overhead toward your right toes. This is called Parvrita Janushyarsasana. And then rise all the way back up. It feels so good to open the side body like that, doesn't it? And let's switch sides. Take your left leg out, right knee bends in, slight turn towards the right knee, left hand, go, left forearm goes inside of left leg, right arm reaches up and over towards your toes. If you have a block, you can always put one right underneath your forearm. Let's rise all the way back up. Good, take your legs straight out in front of you at the front of the mat. Take your arms straight out in front of you. We're gonna to attempt to lay all the way down without lifting the heels. So go really slow, try not to lift your heels. Use your strength and you lower to the earth. Bring your knees into your chest. We've come full circle. This is how we started. And this is kind of how we'll be ending today in just a moment here. We'll do some twists though. So take, keep your knees in to your chest. Take your arms out wide and drop your knees all the way to the right side. Try to make sure your knees are up in line with your waist, with your belly button. And you can put your right hand on top of your left knee and just try to get your left shoulder closer to the ground. Have a slight bend of your left elbow Then bring your knees back up to center and drop your knees all the way over to the left side. Put your left hand on top of your knee. Take your right arm out to the right. Slight bend of the right elbow. Notice if there's a difference between the sides. I'm just becoming aware, not being upset or judgmental of the sides being un uneven, but just being aware of the body. Now we'll bring the knees back up to center and we'll end with happy baby. So you're gonna grab onto the outer edges of your feet and try to imagine you're stamping your feet on the ceiling and then perhaps rocking side to side here. Continue to soften your mind, soften your muscles and your face. And then we'll release the legs all the way down to the ground, all the way down. So you're coming into Shavasana, which means you do absolutely nothing with your body. Ultimate relaxation here always feels the best to lay down like this after a yoga class when the body is cleared out, tightness is cleared out, tension is released. Bring your awareness to your no nostrils and the breath moving in and out of the nose. The delicate breath, smooth like silk. Watch the breath go all the way up the nose, all the way past the bridge of the nose to the midbrain as you inhale. 
And as you exhale, the breath goes all the way down and out of the nostrils. See if you can observe, follow the pattern of the breath, tracing the breath with your mind. Then begin to bring awareness into your body as you bring small movements into your fingers and toes. And make your way over onto one side, just kind of rolling over for a moment, resting on the side. And then slowly press up to a seat. Let's bring the palms together and bow together in gratitude for our practice. Thank you so much for sticking through the practice today. I hope you feel amazing. If you enjoyed it, comment below and let me know. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever there are new videos. and. Otherwise, I hope to hear from you in some way or another, and I hope you have a great day.